Hi everyone, welcome to African Daisy Tarot. My name is Amina and we're diving into another uh, Face Your Shadow reading where we look at parts of ourselves where we sometimes avoid. Shadow work isn't easy but it's where we grow the most. So let's pull a card and see what's, uh, what today's message has for us. So we've got the chariot. Okay, so the chariot. Hmm. This is about movement. It's about control. It's about determination. The chariot is uh, is a very powerful energy. You know, it's a it's a major arcana. It's it's that powerful energy that pushes you forward. So helping you overcome obstacles with focus, drive. Um, it's about getting things done and being in control of where, where your life is heading. Uh, but as you know, with every card, there's a shadow side too, right? The, char the chariot symbolizes success and victory, uh, but it can also represent uh, the times where we're pushing too hard, trying to control everything, or even moving forward without really thinking about where we're going. Okay, so let's talk about um, the shadow side of the chariot. Um, this card's energy can be intense and sometimes we get so focused on moving forward and achieving our goals that we forget to kind of check in with ourselves um, you know are you pushing are you pushing that you're burning out you know are you so determined to get where you're going that you're not really paying attention to whether it's even the right path for you you know, I know a lot of us can, can relate to that, you know, feeling of wanting to be in control, uh, of pushing through challenges without kind of stopping to ask, is this really what I want? You know, the chariot kind of reminds us that while it's great to be driven, it's also important to pause to make sure that we're not letting our need for control run the show. Okay, so, um, you know, in relationships, the, the, sh uh, the shadow... Of the, tar uh, of the tarot, the shadow of the chariot can show up when we trying too hard to force things to go a certain way. <laughs> I've been guilty of that, <laughs> right? So maybe you're pushing a relationship forward, you know, thinking that if you just work harder, if things will, you know, things will turn out exactly how you want. But here's the thing: sometimes that 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 need to that need to control the outcome can push people away, you know. It can sometimes feel forced, inauthentic, or, you know, just it's not natural. You know, maybe you're trying to steer the relationship where you think it should go, you know, instead of kind of just let it evolve naturally, right? So the chariot kind of tells us that while it's important to be clear about what you want, you know, you also you also need to let go of some, of some control and, and allow things to unfold. So... <clears throat> Um, and this can be in a in a in a career too, right? Um, being overly driven, you know, and, and focused on success. So we forget why you we we forget why we even doing it. You know, maybe we constantly in that chase. You know, that next promotion, working overtime, setting your goals, and losing sight of actually of the things that actually make us happy. You know, and there's nothing wrong with um, you know working hard and, and putting in the work, right? But when it's to your detriment, that's that's the shadow side. You know, it's at all costs. It's you know it's great to be ambitious, but you know what what are we sacrificing um for what are we sacrificing for our well being, our personal time, you know, or even just our values, you know, just to just to have that control, to stay in control, to meet a certain standard of of success, you know, what society um standard of success you know so this card kind of tells you to slow down and check in okay you know um, are we still on a path that feels right or are we just moving forward for the sake of it um yeah and so you know even though the, char the chariot is about um it's about moving forward um 
it's important to make sure that you're not letting the desire to control everything take over. And that's, that's where the shadow work comes in. You know, ask yourself, am I forcing things to go a certain way because I'm afraid to let go? You know, where can I allow more flow in my life? The shadow work with the, with the chariot is it's about integrating that, that drive and that determination with balance. Yes, it's, it's good to be motivated, but you also need to, to listen to your intuition and, and to be open to change. You know, sometimes letting go of control doesn't mean you're losing. Lord, am I guilty of that. <laughs> Um, it means it means you're allowing space for something better to come through. Okay, and I know it's a hard one to to let to, to process or to digest. But um, how do we find that balance? You know, we need to first of all take a step back. We always have to take a step back. We have to reassess. You know, we're moving forward because it's what we truly want. Are we just pushing ahead because you feel like you need to? You know, it's okay to slow down. It's okay to adjust the course. It's okay to redirect, you know, let go some of that control. You know, in a relationship, this could look like being flexible. Sorry if I'm all over the place. I'm just, you know, um, it might, yeah, it might be being flexible. That, that could translate into a job too and open to just open to how things will develop you know in a career you it could mean redefining success you know and and it's not by external achievements i know this is a hard one it's a hard one for for me too but um how fulfilled do you feel on the inside that's a question i I have to ask myself when I feel like I'm kind of deterring from that path. You know, the chariot teaches us that while it's great to be driven, there's also that power in letting go and kind of allowing things to unfold naturally. Okay, so um, yeah, this is about trusting the process. You know, you don't have to force everything to go your way to succeed. Sometimes that true power comes from stepping back and letting life unfold. Okay, so I think I'm going to stop it right there. Um, yeah, that's it for today's reading. If this message resonated with you, please like, comment, subscribe. You know, uh, let's keep growing together one step at a time. Until next time.